That is without a doubt one of the best intros to a video game I've ever seen in my life, okay? This game is awesome! Alright, so hey guys, it's GStar321 here, and today I'm playing Revenge of the Shinobi on the Sega Genesis slash Sega Mega Drive. What an awesome game, okay? I love this shit. I played the very first Shinobi game a long time ago when I was a kid, okay, on the Amiga 600. I loved it, even though the game kicked my ass, okay, I could never get past the second level. After that, when I eventually got my Sega Mega Drive slash Sega Genesis console, I got this game, and man, I loved this shit as a kid, okay, it was awesome. I never finished it. It's a hard game to beat. But damn, it is so satisfying, okay? There are so many positive things to say about this game. It's just awesome. Look at this intro. I love this shit. Look at it. Just look at it, okay? Look at that. I could watch this intro like 10 times in a row, okay? And as a kid, I actually used to. I remember I just sat on this title screen as a kid. And I used to just watch it. You know, five times over, back to back. I It never got old, okay? Such an awesome game. Alright, so let's hit start. I just want to get playing this game. <laughs> There's the intro again. <laughs> and you know, the music is amazing. As you can see there, it's done by Yuzo Koshiro. That guy is a genius, okay? He composed all the music for this game. What a legend. Alright, so before I start it, I'm going to go into options here. Alright, and... You can change the difficulty, alright, easy, normal, hard, or hardest. I'm going to play it on easy, because this is a hard game, okay? Prior to doing this run-through, I've played the game many, many times over, so I know, you know, all the levels inside out, all the boss fights inside out. It's still hard, okay, because there are some very unforgiving sections in the game in regards to jumping okay some of the jumps that you have to make are fucking atrocious and I'm probably gonna lose quite a few lives there alright the reason I'm setting it to easy is because when you set it to easy you start the game with 10 lives okay if you put on normal you only start with three lives if you put on hard or hardest one life that's fucking bullshit okay and you know if, if you deplete all your lives I mean you can continue but you can only continue a maximum of three times. Alright? So, once you use all your continues, you're done, you know? So, so, say for example, you put the game on hardest, okay? You had one life. You died, okay? You continued, played again, you died, continued, played again, died. That's it. The game's over, okay? So, technically, all you have is three lives. That's fucking bullshit. I'm putting it on easy. I need as many lives I can get, okay? Shurikens, 50. You can change that to a maximum of 90. Alright, because I'm putting it on easy, look, I'll just leave the shurikens as is, okay? I don't want to make this game that simple, alright? Control all looks fine, so we'll get out. Fuck, I love this intro. I'm just going to watch this one more time. Look, look at this. I just love it how he deflects the shurikens here. Ding, ding. That is just the best. What happened to games nowadays? Fuck. Alright, so let's hit start. Round 1 start. There are 8 levels in this game, okay? Each level... Oh, let me just uh, let me just talk about the game before I continue playing here, okay? So there's 8 levels, okay? Each level consists of 3 sub-levels. So 1-1, 1-2, 1-3, 2-1, 2-2, 2-3 all the way through to 8-1, 8-2, 8-3, okay? The dash 3 of each level, okay, so for example 1-3, 2-3, 3-3, 3-3, and so on, are boss fights. So, we're on level 1 at the moment, okay? Sub-level 1-1. So, when we get through this level, we'll go to 1-2, get through that level, and then 1-3 will be a boss fight, okay? It's the same for all levels in the game, okay? So, pretty simple. Now, top left contains our life bar, okay? Just to the right of that is our shurikens. So, if I throw a shuriken, you can see that it starts depleting. To the right of that is what's called jitsu, or our magic arts, okay? 
if I press start, I mean it actually shows our score there, but we can actually select which jitsu we want to use. Okay, you've got four jitsus or magic arts, if you want to call it that, to select from. Okay, the jitsu of Ikazuchi, jitsu of Karyu, jitsu of Fushin, and jitsu of Midjin. I'll quickly go through them now, okay? The jitsu of Ikazuchi, this lightning one, basically when you cast it, you get a shield of lightning around you, okay? And you can withstand attacks, uh, maybe about five or six attacks, okay, before it, the shield wears off, so that's pretty cool. It allows you to get, get through some pretty tough sections of the game. The jitsu of Karyu basically makes flames appear on the screen, kills everything. Jitsu of Fushin makes you, allows you to jump higher, okay, so you can get through some really tough jumps in this game by activating this Jitsu. And the final one, Jitsu of Midgen. This is actually the most interesting, okay? When you use this Jitsu, you die, okay? You actually lose a life. So, just to the right of the Jitsus, you can see I've got 9 lives. Technically, I've got 10, but the game never displays more than 9 there, okay? So, let's just say I've actually got 9 lives, okay? and I use this Jitsu, the Jitsu of Midgen. I'll kill myself, I'll die, okay? And then I'll have eight lives. But the good thing is you come back to life with full health. So it's really good to use when you've only got like one red bar of life left, okay? You can just go ahead and use that Jitsu. You'll die, okay? But you'll come back to life with full health, basically continuing where, where you are, okay? as opposed to just dying and starting back at the start of the level again, the sub-level again, okay? So fuck that. Alright, so that's the basics of the game. We can jump, we can throw shurikens, that's our attacks. If you get close, you can kick an enemy, alright? You can crouch walk as well, and obviously you can cast jitsu. Now one of the most important things in this game are oh, these samurais. You've got to kick them, okay? They always deflect the shurikens. One of the most important things things you need to learn in this game is the double jump, okay? And I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Just want to get through. So there you go, I just slashed that samurai with my sword, okay? And that dog too. Ooh, bomb, look out. So you basically hit crates and items come out, okay? Whether they be some more shurikens for you, some extra life, or a power-up, which increases your damage with the sh shurikens. And also get extra lives. Oh, god. Such an awesome game. I really love this game. I love the music in it. It plays fantastic. The controls are awesome. Okay? It's just a fucking good game. Alright, now... As I was saying, the most important move you need to master in this game is the double jump, okay? So if you just jump, that's what it looks like. When he's at the highest peak of his jump, so there, if you press the jump button again, he'll do that, okay? A somersault. Okay, you need to master this jump, okay? It allows you to get through some atrocious jumps in this game. And most importantly, you can attack while you're doing the somersault. So if you press the attack button, he throws shurikens in an 8-way attack like that, which is fucking awesome, okay? you got to master that move. Comes in very, very handy, alright? So let's continue playing here. Enough of that intro. I'm just going to fucking tear it up now. Get out. Fuck, there we go. So that gave me some shurikens. Careful of the bamboo, you take damage if you step onto it. This should be an X. So look at that, that's a 1-up, okay? Now look in the top right corner when I pick it up. You see how it doesn't increase beyond 9? Okay, so 9 is always the maximum it's going to display, okay? Even though you could have like 20 lives, it'll always say 9. Okay, so this power up here, POW. Very, very useful item to pick up. It increases your damage with the shurikens, I just lost it. Pretty much when you get hit, you lose it, okay? But, it's extremely powerful, okay? And if you can go into a boss fight with that power-up active, 
you know, you can take care of the bosses very, very quickly. Alright, so I'm going to use a Jitsu here in a minute. Because this part's a bit fucked up trying to jump through this bamboo without taking damage. So I'm going to go ahead and use this Jitsu that engulfs me in the lightning. The lightning shield, okay? And as you can see, I don't take any damage with this active, okay? I'm getting hit, like I'm taking hits. And you can you can tell you are by it makes a sound. Like I'll see if I can do it. You hear that? See how it made that ch sound? That means you, you're getting hit, okay? So it's pretty cool. You can take an extra like five or six hits with that active, alright? Extremely useful jitsu. Especially for some of the boss fights, okay? And especially the last boss fight of the game. Which took me forever to figure out how to do. Alright, but I've I've mastered this game, okay? I'm gonna kick this game's ass. Alright, so we've just completed sub-level 1-2. We're going to 1-3 now. This is the boss fight, okay? Now this boss is a big samurai dude. Just watch what I do, okay? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Okay, his weakness is his head, okay? you got to sort of get in close enough for him to do a sword attack. And then jump away and shoot a shuriken at his head. You can tell you're doing damage on him by his armor color changing. Oh my god. There we go. God. Has to be fucking on the, on the fucking mark. Shit. Yay. Oh shit, one more hit, I'm done. Oh shit, there we go, that was close. You know, if I had the power-up active, that guy would only take about...